Right away. Uh, which sim is more realistic? Dangerous waters or cold waters? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure which one. I mean, there's certain aspects of it that you can talk about with realism. I think a lot of people conflate realism with uh, how many buttons you gotta push. Because Dangerous Waters definitely beats Cold Waters in terms of how many buttons you gotta push. Uh, Dangerous Waters lets you get down and dirty in multiple stations, whereas Cold Waters, you, you get more pretty much just the captain thing going on. Um, I think AI is better in Cold Waters than Dangerous Waters. They tend to act as a more cohesive group in this game, Dangerous Waters. They all kind of act individualistically, but they're even though they can be put into groups. And the AI is just kind of janky in Dangerous Waters in general. I think the AI in Cold Waters is better. I mean, Dangerous Waters is definitely a lot of fun. It has more of a hardcore feel than Cold Waters, I'll say that as well. But they both take liberties Con, on helm, steady course. what they simplify or dumb down from real life to make it a game. Submarine modeling the char characteristics of the ship. Yeah, Dangerous Waters lets you get more down and dirty in that front. You actually kind of you manipulate the sonar. You actually you can develop solutions if you want. If you don't want to, you can let the computer do it. But it gives you the option to get much more into depth in the sonar and then even be able to make solutions, which you can't do at all in this game. Because it always kind of bugs me when people say Cold Waters is more arcadey. I don't think that's... I think that's a little intellectually lazy to say. I mean, World of Warships is arcadey. I think I think you can say Cold Waters is a decent step up above World of Warships. Yeah, I think people conflate pushing buttons with realism. Realistic in my mind is more to do with how accurate the physics are. Or is, I don't know, whether it be physics are or physics is. Con, helm, yeah, that's course. true. I feel like in cold waters, people only focus on like one aspect of that, and that's like the torpedo evasion. Uh, the ship handling in dangerous waters is definitely more realistic with uh, momentum and turnover shoots and stuff like that. But that would be a little much to bear for manual steering in cold waters. I have to deal with that and do everything else. But I guess they could have made it an option if they really wanted to. Master two. 